So when you're in GCSE, you're told the quadratic formula. x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And you're not told where this magic formula comes from. So in this video, I'm going to show you where it comes from. And the mathematics that gets us from this equation, so we want to solve this equation, so the mathematics get, that gets us from here to the quadratic formula can all be done using the algebraic techniques that we've learned in the previous videos. It's just a little bit more challenging because in places it can look horrendous. Okay, But if you can follow it, Fantastic. So, it starts with the process of completing the square for this. So, when we complete the square, we would take a out the front of the first two terms. So we've had x squared plus b over a x, okay? And then we'd have that plus c on the end, okay? So I factored out a from the first two terms. I'm then going to complete the square of what is inside that bracket. So, we're going to have x plus half of the b over a, which is b over 2a, all squared. Take away the square of that term, which will be b squared over 4a squared. Close the bracket and we've got that plus c on the outside. Okay? So, we now want to multiply through. So we're going to multiply through by the a for these two terms. So we're going to have a times the x plus b over 2a squared. We're going to multiply a by this term as well. So we're going to have minus b squared over 4a. That a will cancel with one of those a's. And we've got that plus c on the end. Okay? Right, so the next thing to do is we want to be able to simplify these two terms. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write them this way round. Okay? So instead of having minus b squared over 4a, I'm going to have a uh, plus c, but we'll have them that way round. So I'm going to write c as c over 1. And now I'm going to add fractions using cross multiplication. So I've got this diagonal, so 4a times c, so 4ac. Then I'm going to take away that diagonal, so minus b squared, all over 4a. Okay? So... Currently, what I have is I've got a times x plus b over 2a, all squared, plus 4ac minus b squared, all over 4a, is equal to zero. Okay? So, that's where I'm currently at. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, Add, uh, subtract this from both sides, okay? Um, so, and I'm going to, actually I'm going to divide through by that A as well. So I'm going to get X plus B over 2A all squared. I've now moved this over to the right hand side. So I'm going to have minus 4AC minus B squared all over 4A. And I've also divided through by the a, so I'm going to have that as 4a squared. Now, because I've got that minus on the outside there, and that minus on the inside there, what I can do is I can, instead of having it on the outside, I can write it like that. Okay, so minus whatever's in that numerator. And so, what I could do is multiply through that numerator, by that minus sign, and I would get that. And so, I could actually reorder those two terms and write it as b squared minus 4ac, which should be memorable to us. 
So then, I want to get x by itself, so I'm going to have to square root both sides. So I'm going to be left with x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. Now, if we look at this, then 4a squared is the same thing as 2a all squared. That'll give me 4a squared. So then if I'm square rooting this whole thing, I'm square rooting the numerator and I'm square rooting the denominator. If I square root 2a all squared, then the squared part disappears. And I'm left with just the square root on the numerator, because I've dealt with the denominator. So I've now got plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, which sounds memorable. So then I'm going to subtract b over 2a from both sides. I've got that plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And then, because I've got two terms with a common denominator, I can write this as minus b, put it over the same denominator, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And that is how we can go from this original equation to the quadratic formula. Okay? So all of this, all this is doing is using algebra that you already know. There is completing the square, where we've now got a number that isn't 1 in front of the x squared, so we know how to do that now. It's also got some adding fractions, algebraic fractions, which we should know how to do, and some rearrangement. Okay, So there's nothing otherworldly here that makes this challenging. It's really just coping with the amount of letters at each line of work.